Hey guys, it is a hit day, and I mean an actual hit day. If you just thought you heard the record scratch, that like, little like, uh, wait, what did she say? Did she say hit day? I did. <laughs> I, I totally get it though. I think the same thing sometimes. Uh, if you can't wrap your brain around hit today, I, we, Megan and I understand that. Just go to the page, hit the topic that says cardio core, and pick out another workout. But if you're gonna stick with me today, that means you're gonna make that commitment that you're gonna work really, really hard during the exercises. Because what happens in HIT is that it's a very short window of workout. The actual workout itself of hard work is only gonna be about 20, 22 minutes, I think. And so we wanna make sure that you're working pretty hard. You're also working 20 seconds on, 20 second break. After you do three of those sets, you get a full minute break. So you're almost getting two times the amount of break as you do work. So that means that work period needs to be pretty intense. Um, you know it's a HIIT workout, a real HIIT workout today, because I'm not doing it with you. If I could do it with you and carry on a conversation, then it's not actually. I'm not working in a HIIT zone. I want to show you what that HIIT zone looks like, and I will walk you through like I do sometimes on HIIT. Okay. Grab, um, you're gonna need some light weights. I tried to incorporate weights today so we don't have quite as much plyo, no star jumps, nothing like that. So I would say some like fives, eights, tens, have some, have some options available and you need a step. We're gonna use elevation today also to crank up the heart rate with not as much work, I feel like. So you, if you don't have a stepper, that's a pretty low stepper. Personally, if I had more risers, I don't have the risers here right now, I would probably stick a couple more under there. But um, if not, use a step or a stair or something outside. And I think that's about it. So grab your stuff and I'll start us out with a little bit of cardio and we'll get ready to hit. So now you get to see what you have to look forward to. I just finished the workout completely. I did, went back and did the whole thing. And I realized there were a couple of things I should have mentioned. One thing is, if you feel like your heart rate's dropping too much during that one minute break and you don't need the full minute, Go ahead and skip on to the next exercise. You don't have to take the full minute. If you need longer, remember you can pause it. You need to listen to your own body. So you may only need 40 seconds or 30 seconds and then move on. If some of these exercises aren't getting your heart rate up high enough, feel free to sub in burpees um, or star jumps. Star jumps always are butt kickers. So uh, you can sub those in if it feels like they're just not challenging you enough. That's always an option. Mountain climbers are good too if you are um, super speedy with it, like trying to get at least 60 in that 20 seconds. Uh, and the last thing is, I realized when I did rainbows, I never mentioned straight arms on the rainbows. So rainbows are like this. Those arms have to be straight. If you're doing your rainbows like this, never gonna get to hit. We need those arms all the way away from your body. So it looks like this when you're doing that. Okay, alrighty. Good luck with that hit. It's an awesome workout. You're gonna burn some calories. Alrighty, I'm gonna warm you up right here. So if you did not finish your dynamic warm up, it's okay. I'm gonna get us warmed up here. We're gonna do some simple cardios to get that heart rate up, and then we will move right into the hit. So we're just gonna start with jumping jacks. So get ready. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now, one of the things I am going to tell you is that when you do HIT, we usually follow it with a really long stretch. And I will attach a long stretch and some rolling to this video. But for today, I'm gonna finish it with a pretty quick stretch because I'm gonna give you guys an option of being done. One, break, rest. We're just doing those tap back kicks. We're gonna stretch out those legs before we use them. I wanna give you an option of Three. a quick 30 minute workout, okay? So if Exercise you'd one. like to do it more like we do for the workouts, whenever um, a normal workout, if we would do HIT, we would do a high intensity for a short amount of time, and then we finish it with a nice long stretch and rolling. If you'd like to do that, use the other video, okay? Three, two, one. Break. Rest. So I'll hit the other side. And I will give you a couple options you can rotate Three. in on some of the um, one. hits, but no, if you know when you do, I don't know, like one of the exercises and you think, like suicides, that's one of the exercises, and you, you know your heart rate drops during it, Three. pick another Three. exercise one. to fill in. Rest. Or do that one where we tap down, come up in the middle and tap down. Just getting those legs warmed up. 
exercise. Down in the middle and down. Good job. We're going to hit toy soldiers next. Great job. Three, two, one, rest. Toy soldiers next, straight arms, straight legs. Just like that, alternating back and forth. Three, two, one. And start. Exercise one. So you're probably gonna be a little speedier than I am. We wanna get that heart rate up, so try to pick up the pace. Good job. Awesome. Almost Three, there. Two, one. Arms up. We're gonna do squat jacks. I am gonna say, I'm doing this here to tell you, this is one that you can sub in for one of the hits. Okay? So if any of the ones we do, you're like, oh, that's not working for me, sub this in for your hit. A low impact option is boxing. We're gonna do that corner to corner. Also can sub this one in. I'm showing you your options for subbing here. Exercise one. This is my cardio pace. This is hit. You have to commit to a faster pace, okay? So right here, we're just warming up. You don't have to do your hit pace, but no. If you yes. choose to sub in boxing, it has to be speedy, okay? No impact, but gets that heart rate up. Two, one. And start. Exercise one. Like I said, cardio pace, hit. Fast, okay? So you have that squat jack with the arms overhead. You have this. And three. And do one more. Two. Okay, the next one that you have as an option are going to be air squats. When we do these air squats, no impact, but you're using your hammies and your quads to push up and pull down. Now, if I was doing air squats for hit, they're gonna look like this. So, see the difference? If you decide to sub it in, we need to go speedy. All right, so those three are your options. I lied, it's 24 minutes of hard work here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with a burpee with the press. I have 10 pounds here. If you would prefer, if you have lower back or you would prefer just to do straight burpees, feel free to do straight burpees. This um, alleviates the need to jump and it just adds a little bit more, ten or a more intensity with the weights. So I'm gonna drop down. I'm dropping down with those weights on either side. I kick back, make sure that you don't hyperextend that back. Jump back up to those weights, make sure they're nice and close to your feet. I step up, press, and back down. This is gonna be a speedy motion. It's going to be kind of like this. Okay, if you feel anything in your low back or it feels like it's too much, remember, drop the weights, do straight burpees. All right, get ready. We're starting out right here. We're gonna hit it with a bag. I'll do this first set with you. So get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Remember, speed is your friend. Set a number, count your number. Whatever your number is, it's going to get harder each set to maintain that. It's your job to try to keep that intensity up the entire time. Get your breathing back in order. Ask yourself, if you're using the weights, your number is going to be less than normal. Get ready. Start. Exercise two. This is your second set here. Keep that intensity up. You've got it. Keep that core tight as you're doing that motion. When you kick back, don't let that butt sag. You got it. You're almost done with the set. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, two one. one. Break. Break. Okay. 
Did you get the same number? This is what you're going to ask yourself over and over again in this workout. Did I get the same number? Did I get less? Was I able to get more? I never can get more. So if you got more, pat yourself on the back. Usually my first one is always my best. So get ready. Last one here. Let's make it good. And start. You got it. Keep up that pace. You have a number in your head. Try to make it. Try to keep going. You're almost done with this. You don't have to do these again. Keep going. You got it. You got it. You're almost done. Don't stop. Break. All right. A full minute. Hopefully, you already feel it. You're feeling like, whoo, I need to walk around. How am I going to keep going? You get this full minute to recover. The next exercise, I'm going to go ahead and show you, are climbing ladders. We're going to do 10. So good climbing ladders for 10, and then four jump squats. You can do heel clicks if you want. So climbing ladders, 10. Jump squats, four. All right, so get your breathing back in order. Remember, it's just like this. And same thing, count how many cycles you get. Do you get, do you get two cycles? Do you get three cycles? Do you get four cycles? Those climbing ladders, jump squats. Try to hit that each time. All right, hopefully you're feeling okay. If you need a little longer break, take it. But if not, we're moving on. Get ready. Almost right there. Three. Speed, quickness is your friend. Ten. Exercise one. Four jump squats. Make sure you're getting those arms involved, though. Great job. Almost done with this one. Keep going. Almost there. Two, one. Break. Break. All right, get your breathing back in order. Deep breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Get ready. This is the last one here. I'm going to have you count your heart rate after this. So as soon as you're done, start looking. And start. Climbing ladders. Fast, 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 fast. Jump squats. Make them good. You got it. You have 10 seconds left. Work for that minute break. You got it. You're almost there. Three. Two, one. Break. Rest. Okay, right here, start looking for that heart rate. And get ready to count and start. Break. So take that number, multiply that number times three. That will give you your heart rate for the minute so that you can kind of keep an eye on where your heart rate is. Okay, you still have your break here, so keep your break going. Take nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're doing knee ups with that foot on here. Now, a normal knee up, we would be like this. We want to pick up that pace, right? We want it fast. Fast as you can, you're going to stay on one leg first round. So grab that step. We're going to hop right in here. It's gonna feel Three, like less of a break because we were two, counting. One. And start fast. Exercise one. That's for sure. You're going to do the other leg this round. 
put the other leg up. Try also as a clue not to bounce up and down. That will alleviate that. Start. You can go faster if you're not bouncing up and down. Try to stay nice and steady. Fast, fast, fast. That is your friend. Much faster than your normal. Break. This time I'll tell you when it's halfway. So when you're going, and I say halfway, you're just gonna switch. Sorry, I should be this way. <laughs> when you're going, I say switch, you just get right into it. Sorry, leaning at the angle made it hard. All right, so get ready. Last one, let's go. Make that 20 seconds worth it. Keep that intensity up. Work hard. Get ready, you're switching legs. You're almost done. Nice long break. You're gonna love the next one. Two, one. Break. Rest. All right, grab one of your weights. Just one weight, both hands. We're gonna do that up down. So you get a break while I show you here quick. You're just doing with your feet up down. As I go up, I'm just raising this above my head. Oops, that's all it is. It's a really easy way to keep the heart rate up. Trying to be speedy with it still, but it's just up, down, up, down. This goes up on my, when I step up, all right? Core is tight. Remember when you're, you're lifting that weight up, try to keep it close. We don't want it out here. That's too much tension in your low back. Nice long break here. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. So grab that weight. Have about 10 seconds left in this break. If you need longer, pause it. Get ready. Three, two, one. And start. Exercise one. Up and down. That weight goes up whenever I go up. Try to keep that pace up. that one a lot. <laughs> There's some things that are rotten. That one's not really too bad. Remember though, at any point in these, if it's something that you feel tension in your back or anything that bothers you, two, one. start, Exercise we're starting two. again. But if it's anything that bothers you, you can go back to those first ones I showed you. The squat jack, the boxing, the air squats. Keep that pace going. Five seconds left. You've got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Break. break. Get your breathing in order. Hopefully by now you're feeling pretty winded. If you're trying to talk to me, probably not nice words, <laughs> but if you're trying to talk to me, hopefully you can't get the words out. That's what we're hoping for. Now, if you can carry on a conversation with me, three, try two, doing burpees or something one. like that. Exercise And three. start. Last set here. Get your... Pace going. Try to maintain the same feet, the same pace that you had that first round. Try to keep it going. You got it. You got it. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're almost there. Keep it up. Two, one. Break. Rest. Okay, we are four sets in here. We're gonna do our fifth set. That will get us to halfway. If you feel like you're not in the hit zone, so you can do burpees. Anything like that will will get you there. All right, rainbows. My feet just, this is a good one too. My feet are going like this. And my arms are going around. Now, we do it for cardio all the time, but it's like this. When we do it for hit, we want to pick up the pace. So I would challenge you, count while you're doing your set. Try to get more in. So it's like this. Okay? You want to really try to move that along. Again, Feel free to sub in that, boxing. You can do three pulse um, jump squats if you don't love rainbows. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Three. Remember you're starting side to side and count them for me. Fast speed is your friend. You could be doing burpees, it's much better than burpees. Oh, 
Almost there. Two, one. Woo! Hands feel a little tingly. <laughs> Lots of swinging. <sighs> it's always a surprise how much I can get your heart rate up. Great job. All right. Get ready. We're going to start Three, this one again. Two, one, one start. Exercise two. Count in your head. Count out loud. Try to get as many reps. Really push. You got it. You're about 10 seconds in. Keep going. Don't slow down. Don't let yourself go to a cardio pace. This is hit. Make it hit. Two, one. Break. Three. One more of those. Like I said, in the whole scheme of hit exercises, that was not a bad one. <laughs> All right, one more of the rainbows. These two, back to back, are a three. little bit of a break here. One and start. Exercise three. We'll hit this one again. Last time for this one. You're gonna wanna slow down. Do not let yourself slow down. Keep that pace going. Get that number that you got that first round. You can do it. Keep going, keep going. You're almost there. Three, two, one. one. Break, Rest. okay. Rainbows were bad. I'm being so nice today. We're gonna do lateral hops. <laughs> Same thing. Lateral hops, Megan, I find are a great way to keep your heart rate up. We're gonna try to pick up the pace though. You know, you're gonna try to be speedier. Okay, we're gonna keep that pace going as fast as we can. Again, you can count this one. It's hard to know, am I going as fast as, I'm, as I was the first round? You don't really know unless you count. I'm a counter anyway, but it definitely helps me. Many times I'll think, I'm going just as fast as I was the first time. If I count it, I'll realize every time I've gotten slower, okay? So try to count when you're doing these things. It will help for sure. Get your breathing in order. This is set six. You only have to go to 10. We're killing it. Remember, speed and tempo here. This is the exercise you're familiar with. You have to go hard on it. We want to make it hit. Three, two, two one. Start. Exercise one. Keep going. Depends upon how high you're getting. Three. And it's a toss up. If you jump high, you won't get as many reps. If you're going a little lower in your jump, you'll get more reps. If it depends on how hot, far out you're going. So gauge yourself. What you want to know is, am I feeling winded? If you're not feeling winded, Three, two, try to pick up the one, pace and start. Two. Second time through this one. You've got it. You're doing great. You're almost there. Keep going. Five seconds left. Don't slow down. Two, one. Break. break. Make sure you're breaking when she says break. Don't break when you hear three. It's only 20 seconds. If you break when you hear three, you're stopping at 17 seconds. Train yourself to stop when she says one. Get your breathing in order. Three. And start. Last time here on this one. Got these lateral hops. We're finishing strong with these lateral hops. Just as quick, just as high, just as speedy. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Almost there. Five seconds. Don't slow down until she says one. Break. All righty. Great job. Okay. We're going to do those downhill skiers. We're up and down. I hinge at the hip. Those arms come back. You really have to be speedy, speedy, and you're really lifting up. I almost get airborne on these. So I'm up, down, 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 down. Okay, now, if that feels like it's too much and you prefer those bicep swings, it's very similar. You feel free to use these. That goes back and you swing up. Back, up, back, up. You can do either one. When I do the bicep swings, I'm still hinged, I'm looking at the ground, swinging those arms back and up. It's almost like a biceps or a kettlebell swing, except for there's less um, chance to injure your back because you don't have to get that weight between your legs. Sometimes mobility is an issue, all right? So make a commitment. 
Are you downhill skiing or bicep swinging? Try to make it intense either way. If you're bicep swinging, you want your heavier weights. All right, so get ready. I'll do the downhills. Three, two, one. And up, Exercise down. One. Make sure you're looking at the ground. Keep going. You've got it. Make it worthwhile. Really intense. Try to make that motion. Three, two, one. Break. Great job. Either one that you did, try to make that motion intentional, speedy, um, purposeful. All of it. If you're up, down, it's a fast motion, okay? Three, two, one. And start. Exercise two. Get this one going. If you're feeling completely winded or dizzy, slow it down. Great job. You only have three more after this. Three, two, one. Break. Break. So get yourself, you're breathing okay. Make a commitment again. Which one are you gonna do? The downhill or the bicep swings? Very similar motion, you're still a hinge. I'm using those hips to get that force. Three, two, two one, and start. Exercise three. Finishing this one up, this is it. This is your seventh exercise. You've got it, you have 10 seconds left of this. Work for that break, you've got it. Almost there. Three, Keep going, don't stop until she says one. Rest. Break, all right. We're gonna go back to that step. I'm gonna stand on that step so that my, my foot, one foot is on the step, my other foot is below. I'm doing a hop in the air. You might wanna do one with me so that you can see how it feels. Hop, down, but it's speedy, okay? So as soon as that foot touches the ground, it's back up. It's up, 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 okay? And we're gonna do one side, then the other side, and then we'll probably just go back into the other side. It's only 20 seconds, so I think the switch will probably be a little bit hard. All right, so get to that step. One foot's on the step, one foot is below. We're gonna do a hop in the air. Get those arms involved. That will help get your heart rate up. So get ready. Speed is your friend here. And start. Exercise one. Those arms, feel a burn in that one leg. Great job, almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna turn around and do the other leg. Now on this one, really think about, if it's not keeping your heart rate up, try one of the other ones. If you can't keep a, a steady pace, sometimes your heart rate drops on this two, one. And start. Exercise two. Doing that other leg. You should know which leg you did because the one's sore. You guys are awesome. I am so proud of you. Keep pushing. You are fantastic. You're doing great. You've got it. Almost there. Three, Three two, one. one. I will tell you when the half is if you want to switch. But when you're looking one way to switch to the other side, it can be hard, it can be difficult. So I usually just stick with one leg, but that's your call. I will tell you when it's halfway. You're doing so good though. Three, two, Almost done with this one. Exercise. And hit it. Last one on this one. Almost done with it. And switch sides. Great job, finish strong here. Work for that break. The next one you're gonna like. Three, two, two one. Woo! Pat yourselves on the back, that's awesome. You guys are kicking butt, you've only got two more sets. I'm so proud of you guys. Real quickly, look for your heart rate. And I'm gonna have you count. Get ready and start. 
You can check your heart rate here. Stop. All right. Take that number times three. That's your heart rate if you don't have a watch. Real quickly, you need a longer break if you're high. If your heart rate's high, take a little longer break, but we're gonna grab one weight and we're doing this squat and presses. Now, if you wanna make it more difficult, the heavier weight's gonna do it. Lighter weight if um, you're feeling a little winded. We're not gonna go down so far. We're not worried about the squat down. We're not leaning forward. We're keeping that chest upright. It's just a slight squat and a press with both arms. Try to keep that press straight up above your head. If you use a heavier weight, you may not go as fast, but it's gonna get your heart rate up. If you're using the lighter weight, make sure you go fast. All right, so grab your weights. You got a little longer break there. Grab your weight. Um, I'm gonna use a little lighter weight so I can go a little faster, but feel free to do whichever. If I was doing it by myself, I might do a 10, but uh, right now I have the eights. Okay, get Three, yourself ready. Two, one. Chest upright. Exercise one. And we're gonna go nice and fast. Again on this one, count it. It's a really good opportunity to count it, to see how many you get in. Great job. Three, two, one. Woo! Three. Now, if you felt like that's moving too fast, I can't keep up with that. Go with a heavier weight, go slower. Take your time and go a little slower. You'll still get the same cardio effect. Remember, chest is upright. Don't hinge forward. Three, two, one. And start. Exercise two. Great job here. You guys are almost done. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You are on your ninth exercise. Finish strong, work for that break. Three, two, one. Break. All right, we have one more of these, and then you've got your 10th exercise and you're done. Yay! So get your breathing back in order. Now it's a little bit of a fun spot because your heart rate's up. You don't have to work as hard to get it up. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, and exercise start. Exercise three. All right, let's work for that minute break. This is your last minute break you're working for. So let's make it worthwhile. Keep working, you've got 10 seconds. Do not slow down, you've got it, I know you can do it. You're stronger than you think you are. Keep Three, going, two, one. and break. Yes. All right, I got everything kind of moved over here. <laughs> we're gonna do a suicide. I'm just gonna do mine sideways. But just remember, we're doing lateral suicides. So we're shuffling to the side, and I'm tapping. When I come over, I wanna make sure I'm hinging Kind of, and, and bending that leg when I go down to touch, making sure that foot stays on the outside of that hip. Don't ever let the hip and the knee cross over. Now, if you have low back issues, just go side to side and don't tap down. If you don't have low back issues, tap. I definitely would challenge you to count your reps on this one. Depending upon what your space is, it's totally different for every person because it depends on how far you're going. But I know myself, I slow down almost every time. Challenge yourself to keep this pace. All right, get ready, this is it, this is 10. You're finishing strong, I know you got this. Let's get it done here. Two, one. And start. Exercise one. Keep that pace. Break. Now, challenge yourself. I know when you hear three, you want to start to stand up and, and let that go. Don't, you only have two more sets. When she says three, keep going, push through. All right, you are so close to being done. Two, one. And start. Exercise two. Woo, you got it. Keep moving. You're almost done here. Keep pushing. 10 seconds, try to finish just as fast as you did. Three, two, one. Break, 20 seconds. That is all you have left. 
Get your breathing in order. You only have 20 seconds. Let's make it worthwhile. It's your last one. Go out with a bang. What was that number you got the first one? Commit to yourself right now. You're going to try to get that number. Three, Here we go. Finish strong. One, and start. Exercise three. Almost there. You got it. You got it. You got it. 10 seconds. Finish strong here. You can do it. You're almost there. Try to get that number. Don't slow down when she starts talking. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Break. Woo! Yay. Awesome job. I am so proud of you. That is not easy to do. You definitely need to give yourself a big pat on the back. Super proud of you guys. Hard, hard work today. Walk around. Let your heart rate come down some. You have a choice. You can join me for a very quick stretch. It's going to be a pretty quick one because I want to have you to have the option to be done pretty early with this workout. Or go and hit the longer stretching and the rolling that I add to it. Um, the link is going to be at the bottom. Okay? Great job today. So proud of you guys. This is going to be a speedy one. I'm not even going to use the strap today. Let's just pull those arms up and pull to the side. And the other side. And we're going to reach those arms straight out. Look straight at the mat. And drop down. Get your breathing in order here. And let's just walk out. Let's turn this way. Walk out over that mat. Pull that right leg up. And just get a nice stretch here. Open up that hand. Try to get your breathing in order. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Put that arm down, put that leg back, and bring the other arm or the other leg up. And open that hand up towards the back. And down. Now we're gonna go back into that plank, hinge at those hips, and pedal those heels back and forth. Great job. Pull that right leg up and drop at the knee. Let's get that core stretched out, a little bit of that hip, switch sides and drop down. Now we're gonna pull this right leg, it's gonna come all the way through. We're gonna get down into that uh, cobra stretch and lean over, or pigeon stretch, sorry. Walk that hand to the center and to the outside. And let's bring that leg around, pull that glute back towards you, sit up nice and tall. And now we're going to bring that right leg in, put the left leg around and lean over that leg. Get a nice stretch there, walk that hand to the outside and to the inside. And swing that leg around. Now pull that leg back towards you. Sit up nice and tall. Now quickly, let's pull those legs in. Sit up nice and tall and lean forward. Nice stretch there. And let's lay back. We don't have straps today, so let's just put that right leg on top and pull back towards you. Just want to get that low back stretched out a little bit. Put that foot to the ground. Let that knee drop to the side and reach out. And bring that leg over to the other side. Stretch out that psoas. Switch sides. So left leg's on top of the right knee and pull back. Nice little stretch there at that hip. Let that foot fall to the ground. Let that knee fall to the side and reach that arm out. and to the center. Great job, and real quick, let's just pull that arm across, let's just stretch out that neck, switch sides, the other side, oops, and lean away, not towards, <laughs> and pull back, up, and W. Awesome job, so proud of you doing the hit today. It is not easy to do hit on your own. So proud of you. Pat yourself on the back. You should get a little pump. Megan and I always feel like we get a little bit of a, um, like a, a serotonin pump from this one. So hopefully you'll feel that. It doesn't feel good while you're doing HIT, but afterwards it usually does. Great job today.